Well, welcome back to BNC Now. Well, right now we want to get you caught up on all of the latest news regarding the coronavirus. More than 9.2 million cases of COVID-19 have been confirmed worldwide, according to John Hopkins University. The WHO expects the world will reach 10 million cases within the next week. New York, New Jersey and Connecticut will require travelers from states with high COVID-19 cases to quarantine for two weeks and at least 26 U.S. states are seeing rising cases of this disease. The EU is considering recommending member states block travelers, including Americans, from visiting their countries due to a COVID-19 surge. Well, New York City beaches will reopen for swimming starting on Wednesday, July 1st. That according to Mayor Bill de Blasio, social distancing and face coverings when social distancing is unavailable will still be required on the beach and patrons will need to refrain from group activities. Beach chairs and blankets must be 10 feet apart, again, 10 feet apart. And the mayor also noted lifeguards are being trained in preparation for the opening. Um, just as New York is, is really seeing uh, its cases go down and, and they have now flattened the curve, uh, is this something that concerns you if you're, uh, if you're a New York resident? What do you think? I think a lot of people are concerned. I think a lot of people are starting to really get the idea that this is not going away. And in fact, it's getting worse. Actually, uh, today, former Vice President Joe Biden uh, commented on uh, President Trump's response and says, well, the pandemic isn't happening to him. It's happening to the rest of us, mm. uh, meaning that if he gets sick, he's got a lot of people to take care of him. Of course. The rest of the world, of course, has to deal with the well of the country has to deal with the consequences. Also being reported is that hundreds of thousands of dollars in coronavirus relief payments have been sent to people behind bars. And get this, the IRS wants that money back. Mm. So um, th this uh, situation, small businesses, they are still running into roadblocks. Remember, they were trying to apply for money. Some small businesses still haven't got their money to try and keep sustained during the fact that the, the economy is, is collapsing mm -hmm. uh, due to coronavirus. And uh, as I said earlier, Texas is deciding to pause their reopening. So. It's happening a little faster than we thought, Anthony. I mean, you, we talk about this every day and we kind of monitor what's happening. And we talk about the fact that if people are wrong, we're gonna know it. Well, I think Texas is in, an indication that they believe that we need to stop reopening because this virus is spreading. How much do you trust your uh, local leaders and national lawmakers for that uh, matter? And how much should the states and local leaders trust us? Uh, I think I think it's sort of a two-pronged question. Uh, certainly in regards to uh, like the New York City beaches, again, with the way that they handled uh, this pandemic from the start, it was really uh, an, an enviable situation in terms of how they uh, how the leadership handled it. So it's a little surprising to me that they're actually allowing this. Um, and, and again, the question is, is this too soon, considering what is going on in Texas? Uh, it's It's a tricky, tricky dynamic is something that I'm not sure anybody really knows the answer to, but I don't think there's any question. You are taking a little bit of a risk, I'll at least a little bit of a risk. A lot of a risk. That's pretty yeah. obvious, but let, let's face it. Governor, New York Governor Andrew Cuomo, he does not play. Mm -hmm. And if he sees any type of, of increase, he will shut it down quick because he's been the, the probably the most vocal elected official across the country since this happened. You saw what they did in New York City. New York City is not a place, I lived there for 10 years, it is not a place that shuts down for anything. And they're known as being warriors. And Governor Cuomo, him and his family have a legacy there. And when you see him being very strict, so I'm gonna keep my eyes to see what uh, uh, Governor Cuomo uh, says about this in the days moving forward, because that really gives you an indication of where the direction is. And again, they reopen on Wednesday, July 1st. Well, coming up next, the trend continues. Find out which department retail store is set to lay off more employees. BNC Now will be right back. Stay with us.